Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy for your stock portfolio. I will be releasing four new videos about the best stocks to buy pertaining to the top growth stocks, value stocks, dividend stocks, and even the best cheap penny stocks to buy right now under $5. If you've been following along with this series, you know that back in January 28th of 2021, I started this YouTube portfolio with around $2,000, and about halfway through the challenge, I really started to take it seriously to where now my portfolio is worth around $70,000. But my goal is to reach around $100,000 by the end of the year. Now before we officially start to talk about the best stocks that I've been buying, you need to always remember to do your own research. Because your age, investing strategy, risk tolerance, and other factors could be very different than my own. Also keep in mind that between 50 to 80% of my portfolio consists of index funds, mutual funds, and ETFs, such as VTI for stability, SCHD for dividend income and passive income, which is fantastic when the stock market is down because I reinvest all of my dividends, and I get amazing growth from QQQ. So go and obliterate that like button for more videos just like this one, comment down below your favorite stock to buy, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and now let's dive into the best stocks to buy right now. Here are the criteria that all of the following stocks had to meet just to make it on this list. First, we want their earnings per share to be growing at over 20%. We want them to have stable revenues, and I don't want to see any negative earnings for the last four years, so we know that these companies are comfortably profitable. Lastly, we want to buy these stocks at a discount compared to their previous prices, so we can ensure we are getting a good deal. We also want to see that they have good financial health, and finally, I want to make sure that their accounting ratio pertaining to their forward PE ratio, which is the price of a share of stock divided by the company's earnings per share, which tells us how much we are paying for each dollar of earnings. So ideally, we want this to be under a 20 times PE multiple. So with that being said, let's start with our list, and to start our list, we're going to talk about Thor Industries, which provides products in the recreational vehicle industry. They make some of the most popular brands out there, like Airstream, Jacko or Jayco, and Keystone, among many others. And get this, they have had an average increase in average annual EPS, also known as earnings per share, and sales of 82% and 23% respectively over the last three years, which is is absolutely insane. But wait, it gets even better. Their projected annual earnings growth over the next five years is a whopping 160% which is one of the highest on our list. However, there may be a slight dip in earnings throughout the year of 2023, but experts still predict an upward trend afterwards. And with the stock trading 41% below its 2021 highs, this could be an awesome opportunity to pick up some shares at a discounted price. But that's not all. Thor also pays a 2.3% dividend yield, which has been consistently increasing since 2014. So not only could you potentially see some growth in their share price, but you could also earn some extra income from their dividend. Overall, Thor Industries is a company that you should really look further into. Up next, we have United Microelectronics, which is doing great things in the semiconductor foundry business. They supply some of the biggest names in the industry, like Texas Instruments, Intel, Qualcomm, and Realtek with microprocessor components. And get this, even though UMC shares have already gained more than 300% over the last five years, the stock is still trading 31% below its 2021 highs. This could be an amazing opportunity to jump in on the action and ride the wave to even higher profits and gains. Now, you might be thinking, but wait, hasn't UMC seen multiple declines in the past? Well, yes, they have. But those dips ultimately have been excellent entry points to buy the dip and ride the momentum back upwards. And with the company increasing their earnings per share and revenue every year since 2019, with a three-year average annual growth rate of 114% for their EPS and 22% for their revenues, professionals are expecting even more growth in the future for this overall company. Also, UMC's forward P.E. ratio is 8.9, which is very appealing. That's near the lowest level that the stock has seen in the last five years, with their P.E. ranging from as high as 60 to as low as 5.2. 
Plus, the company pays a dividend that's currently yielding 1.2%, so you can earn some extra passive income in cash while you wait for the stock to continue their upward trajectory. Overall, I'm excited about United Microelectronics, and I can't wait to see where this stock is headed in the future. Up next, we have LCI Industries, which supplies components to manufacturers of recreational vehicles, buses, and trailers. And get this, they sell directly to big names in the industry, like Winnebago and Thor Industries. LCI Industries has the longest sustained earnings growth on this list, with EPS increasing every year since 2010. And over the last three years, annual EPS and sales have increased an average of 49% and 33% respectively. That's some insane growth. And the growth doesn't stop there, because analysts expect a yearly EPS growth rate of 20% over the next five years. With the company's P.E. ratio ranging between 10 and 30 since 2010, the current P.E. ratio of 7.3 and a forward P.E. ratio of 8.4, these are some of the best values that we've seen for this company in many years. Now, I know some of you might be worried about the earnings per share drop in 2023, which is expected, but don't fret. It's expected to resume growth thereafter. And with the stock trading 28% below their 2021 high, this could be a perfect time to buy in. Oh wait, also, did I mention that LCI Industries pays a dividend currently yielding 3.6%, and the dividend amount has increased each year since 2016. This company overall just keeps on giving, and I am infatuated with LCI Industries and the type of growth they have continuously brought to the table. This brings us to our next pick, which is Sportsman's Warehouse. Sportsman's Warehouse is the ultimate destination for all of your outdoor needs, from camping gear to fishing and hunting equipment. With stores in 29 states, they've got you covered no matter where your adventure takes you. Now, let's talk about their financial performance. Sportsman's Warehouse has been on a steady upward trajectory with earnings per share and sales increasing year after year. In fact, over the last three years, they have seen their annual EPS grow by around 61% and their sales and revenue have grown by around 18% and experts are predicting even more growth for the future, with a projected 21% yearly EPS growth over the next five years. Now, some of you may remember that in 2021, Sportsman's Warehouse entered into a merger agreement with the Great Outdoors Group. Unfortunately, this deal was eventually called off due to regulatory challenges, causing the stock price to drop by as much as 55% as some investors who were expecting the merger ended up selling out due to the merger not going through. But here's the exciting part. Shares of ticker symbol SPWH are still trading at a 49% discount with a PE ratio of 4.4. So the stock is trading close to its best PE value since 2014. And while the company doesn't currently pay a dividend, this could be an opportunity for long-term growth for those of you who are willing to take a chance on this company. Our next top pick is ASE, which is a company that assembles and tests semiconductors worldwide. While well, most of its revenues come from the United States, ASE has been seeing steady growth in its annual earnings per share since 2019, and revenue has been rising since 2016. And guess what? Professionals predict that earnings per share will increase at an average rate of 34% per year over the next five years. That's absolutely crazy. Now, I know what you're thinking. What about the stock price? Well, it's trading at 23% below its 2021 all-time high. But don't worry, things are looking up for this company. The stock rallied strongly in the final quarter of 2022, plus their forward price-to-earnings ratio is only 8.5. So this looks like a perfect entry point for long-term investors. P.E. values for this stock typically range between 10 and 20, so this is a great opportunity to get in at a discount right now. Plus, ASE has paid an annual dividend for over a decade. So if you're looking forward to investing into a company that not only has great growth but also a great dividend, then this company could be the company for you. The next stock is none other than Alpha and Omega, which is a semiconductor company that's been making waves in the industry. These guys make the chips that power all of your favorite electronic devices, from PCs, TVs, and even smartphones, among many other products. 
With operations in the United States, China, South Korea, and Hong Kong, ticker symbol AOSL has been on a tear recently with breakout earnings in the past few years. For example, in 2020, their EPS was a respectable 57 cents per share. But listen to this, it skyrocketed to an incredible $15.82 during 2021. Now, analysts do expect a slight dip in their earnings per share for 2023 and 2024, but after that, they are predicting an average annual growth rate of 17% over the next five years. That's amazing news for investors. So you could wait until the end of 2023 or 2024 to invest into this company, but even with this anticipated drop in earnings, the company has brought in an average of a 636% increase on yearly EPS over the last three years. On top of that, their sales have also been on the rise, increasing by an average of 21% per year. However, the share price of this company has been declining recently, but that's because the next year earnings are expected to drop, although they should remain well above their 2020 levels. Now let's talk more about the stock's P.E. ratio. With a forward P.E. multiple of 8.1 and a current P.E. ratio of 9.9, Alpha and Omega is looking like a great value buy. Plus, the stock is trading at a whopping 60% discount from their highs back in 2022. Some investors don't like that this company doesn't offer a dividend, but with all of the growth potential that is packed into this phenomenal company, who needs a dividend? All in all, Alpha and Omega is a great stock to keep on your radar, and it's definitely worth considering for your portfolio. Up next, we have PAM, or P-A-M, which is a trucking company that's been on a roll lately. PAM operates across North America, serving the United States, Canada, and Mexico. And let me tell you, this company is seeing some serious growth. Their EPS has been skyrocketing at an annualized average of 137% since 2020, while revenue has increased by 22% over the last three years. Analysts predict this impressive earnings per share growth will continue with a 20% annual increase over the next five years. What's even more impressive is that Pam's share price is trading 25% below their 2021 all-time high, which means that they could be considered undervalued to some investors. This is reflected in the company's low forward price-to-earnings ratio of 7.3, which is well below their typical range, which normally goes between 5 and 20. So if you're looking for a solid long-term investment, Pam could be a great choice. With all of this growth potential and their current undervaluation, this stock has plenty of room to grow. Now let's talk about Marine Max, which is a United States retailer of new and used recreational boats and other various accessories. The company also provides boat services along with repairs and a brokerage for selling boats and a yacht charter business. Now, you might be thinking that ticker symbol HZO's share price has been slumping lately, but don't let that fool you because fundamentally, the sales and earnings per share have been rallying. Earnings have increased at an average of 71% year over year for the last three years, and their sales have increased by an average of 21% during that same time period. Although, experts do predict slightly lower earnings per share in 2023, but even with that being said, over the next five years, they're anticipated to bring in a whopping 30% CAGR in regards to their earnings per share. So that's definitely something to keep your eye on. Now, here's the real kicker. Ticker symbol HZO is trading 50% below their all-time high, so you are getting a great discount. The current PE ratio is 4.1 and their forward PE is 4.3. PE values have fluctuated between 3.1 and 25 over the last half decade, so this is a great time to jump in on this overall stock. Lastly, I want to know if you've ever heard of ticker symbol DQ. This company is a polysilicon manufacturer that creates crucial material for solar panels. They mostly earn their revenues over in China, but let me tell you, their earnings per share have been surging. We are talking about a 275% average annual increase over the last three years. 
Analysts are currently projecting an average annual growth rate of 75% over the next five years for their EPS, and their sales have also been booming, up to 127% per year over the last three years. But here's the real interesting thing about this company. Despite all of this growth, they are trading at one of the cheapest valuations on this list according to their price to earnings ratio. Their current PE ratio is just 1.8, which is one of the lowest levels we've seen over the last half decade. For a comparison, the average forward PE ratio for a stock in the S&P 500 is around 28, making all of these companies on this list extremely cheap. Plus, their stock is trading at a whopping 63% discount, so you better act fast on this overall company if you want international diversification. Now, that concludes our list, so for more videos just like this one, go and annihilate that like button right now, because we have three more videos that will cover cheap penny stocks to buy right now, growth stocks to buy, the best dividend stocks to buy, so if you want more videos just like this one, go and comment down below if you want me to make more videos just like this. Also, subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Lastly, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next YT video.